and Protection and the Belize Bank. Our country, your bank. Good evening. I'm Jim Satterley, and welcome to Sports Monday on a Tuesday. Pressing engagements made Monday's appearance impossible, and we certainly extend our heartfelt apologies to our supporters and our fans. Now, to the business at hand. The CSK Invitational Anniversary Karate Championships took center stage inside the BS Auditorium over the weekend featuring two Belizean teams from the Cayo District, the Kazoka Karate Dojo, a team from Guatemala, and one from El Salvador to make it an important international event as the Cayo Shotokan Karate Club celebrated its 24th anniversary. Of the 60 athletes, Siya Kese of CSK Belmopan with the red belt was the first to catch our eyes in the finals of the 12 and 13 year olds female category against a game teammate, Julian Harrison, to win gold. Guatemalan Hansel Samayoa in the blue corner beats his fellow compatriot Nelson Kahn in the S9 14 to 15 male finals. Caesar Dickoff and Ignacio got the judges nod in a tightly contested face off in the finals against Belmopan's Basil Brown. Rafael Keterio of Kazuka Shotokan Karate Dojo with the blue belt got the W over teammate Christian Harrison in the S12 to 18 class at 67 kilograms. Rene Flores of El Salvador edged out Devor Carrillo of Belmopan in the S13 to 18 male class at 67 kilograms. Nevertheless, it was the Kayo Shotokan Karate Club of Belmopan to emerge with the most medals, grabbing 11 gold, 12 silver, and 16 bronze for a grand total of 39, and we say much congratulations. CSK C of San Ignacio was second with the six goals, four silver, and two bronze, which adds up to 12. Guatemala picked up three gold, three silver, and a bronze for seven. El Salvador was next with two goals, two silver, and three bronze for seven, and Kazuki Shodokan Karate Dojo picked up one gold, three silver, and two bronze medals. Turning to the football scene, Saturday's matchup in the Cayo First Division season matched West Shock of Spanish Lookout and Aircraft Benke Viejo hosted at San Ignacio. Elvin Lario of West Track comes up with this loose ball only to fire this right foot that strays wide a goal. It's more Spanish lookout when Elmer Herrera gets this good look at goal but is foiled by the goalkeeper Henry Garcia. Nevertheless, the first goal comes off this Irka spot kick that rebounds off the keeper to Salim Alfaro for the one zip lead. West Track immediately looks for the equalizer but this left foot offering bounces off the crossbar. Some two minutes later, Freddy Herrera launches this right foot in traffic that ties the ball game at one apiece so we got a new ball game. A few minutes later, Christian Mena takes down Elvin Larios inside the box. He's promptly chased off the field and the referee rules penalty. Elmer Herrera steps up and he gives West Track the 2-1 lead with his second goal. So we go to second half and immediately into the restart. Ilka goes offensive with this center that allows Elvin Larios to head at goal. It's swatted out to the keeper and eventually returns to Elvin Larios who ties the ball game this time at two apiece. Folks, this is a big time save by the West Track keeper when Elmer Herrera looks for a second goal off the match with this power strike. Nevertheless, here comes the game winner, and it's this set piece launched by Freddy Herrera, and it beats Henry Garcia. And yes, Freddy, you deserve a free boot shine. West Street goes on to post the 3-2 Big W over Irka of Benke Viejo. Finally, in cycling news, here's the start of Sunday's race from Leslie's Imports that heads to the Boom Village Junction and would swing back later to finish 40 miles later as presented by the Weekend Warriors. It's Mark Gentle of F.T. Williams standing in the winner's circle with top honors in the A class, finishing in two hours, four minutes, five seconds. James Frampton of Santinos takes second place, and he receives the medal for Wilbur Jones of Venice, who finished third. Barney Brown of Scotia Bank places fourth, and Jack Sutherland of Digicel 4G rungs out the top five. In the B class, it's Chris Cowie of Stationary House Medinas with the big W. Dean Boyce of F.T. Williams is second. And Ryan Willoughby of Stationary House Medina runs out the top three. In the C class, it was Manuel Esquiliano of Chocas grabbing top honors. 
hey, then his barrel of lampers pulls up second, and that's big news, while Valentino Sosa of Chokas rungs out the top three. Hey, folks, just before I go, let me share this personal moment with you. I want to thank Jehovah for making me walk another mile and allowing me to smile another smile. Hey, that's it. We invite you back next time on Monday, same time, same place. Ja! Overall, I'm James Adderley. Sports Monday was brought to you by Berger Paints for lasting beauty and protection and the Belize